to the chair, to the mat. Um, if you have a practice of yoga that you feel comfortable with and you want to stick to that and let my voice kind of support and guide you, please feel free. If you have never done any of this ever before, I um, have to disclaim that I'm not with you, I'm not seeing you, so please do so under your own supervision. Um, but I am here for questions and we'll try to keep this as universal and gentle as possible. You know, I don't know about you, but some days, you know, you slide along and it's fine and then one tiny little thing comes up and you find yourself in a flutter of um, nerves or constriction and so this is just a really nice, simple way to sit and unwind that. We'll continue to deepen that if you're joining us at 532. We move from this into, well, into our house for um, a meditation with Rabbi Aaron and it's about a half hour. So by six o'clock, hopefully your mind and body is um, rinsed out. That's how I think about it. It's like wringing out your insides like a sponge, just kind of seeing, recognizing what's going on, allowing it to be just as it is for that moment, investigate where it is in the body, and then nurture that. By nurturing, I don't mean to indulge or run away from, just means to allow, to soften the heart, to be there present with you, with yourself, with a sense of unconditional, hopeful, hopeful love, um, a love without judgment, right? Unconditional love. So let's, let's practice that nurturing part of it by taking your right hand and just put it on your heart. Exhale. If you're lying in bed, you can just prop yourself up a little bit or lie flat if that suits you right now and just take that right hand in at your heart. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. So here again, we're gonna inhale, hold your breath. Exhale through your nose. You take a third one and I'm just gonna check that we're on and everything's good. Exhale. Now here is yoga. The intention of yoga is to quell the meanderings of the mind. Sure, it feels great to accomplish a new pose or, you know, fit into your jeans or something like that, but the intention of yoga is to quell the meanderings of the mind. You may wonder why I'm sitting here with this ball. If you have a little ball at your house, or you could certainly order one, you might put it behind your back or as you're on the uh, mat, you could put it underneath your tailbone and just roll it around. I've been saying throughout the process of our sheltering in place, what can we do to be our own practitioners? What can we do to be our own masseuses and chiropractors and physical therapists? And please, you know, there is a great amount of value in those practitioners. I miss them dearly. Um, but when we can't uh, go to them, due to finances, due to the fact that we're not allowed to really leave our homes, some of us, um, what can you do to support yourself in these needs? And one of the things is really by attending very delicately, very small, subtle movements. So I'm pressing, I know my right hip gets really tight, and I'm just giving it a little bit of my own body weight against a block, a ball. What else could you use? You could use a book, maybe. Um, a tennis ball might be a really good thing to invest in. It's only a few dollars, my guess. I've had this one for a long time. Inhale, you can take the left hand to the right knee and just give yourself a twist. Look over the right shoulder, hold the back of the chair. Inhale again. Exhale. And look to the front. Inhale, take both arms up maybe. And guess what? If both arms up means that you've got this goalpost thing going on because your shoulders hurt or because your elbows don't stretch, that's fine. 
We're inwardly rotating the palms, inwardly rotating the triceps, but we're trying not to slouch over. We're trying not to get the ears toward the shoulders. We're trying to keep those really far apart. So if that means you're bending the elbows, especially to do that, so your breath can be rich and full, I'd rather have you do that. And then you can switch the ball if you have a ball. And take your twist to the other side. Again, gentle, subtle movements. What does it feel in this moment to twist? Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And inhale, reach the arms back up, interlace the hands, clasp the hands behind the head, tilt your chin to your chest, let your elbows draw in. And I'm going to take that ball away and then just keep rolling down, down, down. Hang forward, maybe hold your toes. And then sitting up tall, bring one foot into your chest. So with the right knee, let's say, into the chest. Sitting up super duper tall, breathe. Shoulders away from the ears. Maybe look to your left and to your right. And then cross the right heel over the left knee. Press down. Press your right hand at your right knee. Really press it open. Drawing your right leg flat toward the, parallel toward the floor. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Pull in your ribs, pull in your belly. And tilt forward again. So in, to help my right hip open, I'm going to rest my right elbow at the right knee, really just exhaling, getting into that stretch, pulling the weight forward, breathe. And three, and four, five, and six, and exhale more. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, unwind it. So bring the right knee back into the heart, into the chest, sit up really tall. And drop the right knee. We're gonna take the left knee in toward the chest, breathe, sit up super tall, inhale, one, and two, and three. Cross that left heel over the right knee, breathe. And tilt forward. So maybe I'm pressing my left hand on my left thigh, keep pressing. And two. Three. And four. And pause, breathe. One, two, three. Four, and then maybe go as far as you can in this moment right now. So that could have been as far as you can, and you're just going to deepen your breath. Exhale, or maybe you take the hands to the foot. Letting the head dangle, be heavy. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, take the left foot down. Stretch the right foot down so you're like in a straddle position, but your knees can be bent. If you're sitting on the floor in your bed, same, same thing. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, tilt. Try to keep your tailbone rooted to whatever you're sitting on, whatever your asana is. Get it? Asana. So for me, it'd be my chair. If you're sitting on the floor, bed, same idea. Yeah? Chest lifts, heart lifts. Breathe. Two, three. Four. So it's not a very big stretch. Come back to sitting. Stretch the legs straight now, lifting them up, and see what it feels like. So if you're on the floor, I just imagine that the legs are straighter and you can keep the heels down at the floor. If you want to try lifting them off, that's fine. Same idea in the bed. Just keep the legs splayed like this. 
tailbone down. So actually, this stretch is yes about the backs of the thighs, but more about the belly. Really try to locate the energy and the strength, the muscular strength in the belly, in the lower part of the abdomen. And sit up tall. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, roll the shoulders forward maybe. I'm gonna put my very short legs back on their blocks. Inhale, and already I feel lighter. I was having some constriction and now I feel lighter, hoping that you're all feeling the same. Inhale, reach the right arm across the body. Gaze over the right shoulder, breathe one. And two, really plant the feet, three four, five, let the arm just swing, fling itself out to the right, and stretch the other arm over, inhale, sit up real tall, exhale, gaze over the left shoulder, hold, breathe, and then exhale. So I should have done the disclaimer, hopefully nobody was next to you and you just let your arm fly. Inhale, reach up. If somebody is next to you, they're probably a family member and you could just say, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. And they'll be okay. Elbows bend in toward each other. Now notice I'm not concaving everything. I'm trying to keep my chest lifted and just gently tug the chin to the chest. Breathe two, three, four, five. Stay there with your chin down. Take, ooh. Wow, found a spot, found a knot. Take your fingers and rummage about there. See what's back there. Rummage about in terms of what needs to be attended to. Where can I find some release? Your magic fingers know what needs, even if your head doesn't. So look to the left shoulder and massage out the right part of your neck. <sighs> look to the right shoulder, massage out the left part of your neck. <sighs> and a little tap. Tapping the heart and the chest. Tapping down the side of the neck. And the other side, the jaw, the temples. And then I want you to feel silly and go blah, 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 just to release. Okay, now let's get into some warrior postures. So if you're sitting, please stay sitting. If you know how to pop right up into warrior two, you can pop, wind your way into that. Warrior two, the right knee is bent, the knee and the heel are in line, shoulders are back. Yeah, very important. We're not slouching forward ever, but certainly not here. Pubic bone lifts, tailbone is down. So it's the opposite of an arch. We're taking the pubic bone up, tailbone down. Arms are out to the sides. Now, you know, I just massage my neck, so I'm okay. But if your neck doesn't feel good to look to the right, just stay center. Yeah, if you're um, lying in bed, just emulate this by propping yourself up and bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. Again, shoulders down, the breath is in and out through the nose. If you're in the chair and you feel confident enough, you could gently lift yourself up by pressing that right foot super duper amounts. It does take a lot more thigh strength, but the chair is right there. So you might take, you know, a little five beats up and down. Exhale, inhale, rotate the legs together, maybe you Massage out the thighs, a little karate chop possibly, and then we'll change sides. So we're going to bend the left knee, straighten out the right leg, yeah? Heel and knee are in line, arms out to the sides, pinky toe of the right leg, super duper grounded, breathe one, chest lifts, heart lifts, two, three, four, I'm going to really lift my right kneecaps, ah, all my kneecaps, and stretch on up to this warrior two. Inhale, exhale, and come on down. 
Bring your knees together. Rotate to the right and to the left. All right, we're gonna take that warrior one, warrior two on the second side again. I'm sure you're all dying to know what warrior one is. I don't know how we would do that in the chair. We'll figure it out. So back to warrior two, shoulders away from the ears. Reverse warrior. My left arm is headed down my left leg. You get a nice stretch in the right side of the body. Like my pal Jenny, hopefully, who's watching. We like our trikonasana because we get a stretch in the right side of the body, or in the waist, I should say. Keep stretching your arm up. If that doesn't feel good for your neck, you can take the right hand at the right waist. In fact, try that even for just a breath. Massaging out the hip with the thumb. For me, it feels absolutely delish. And then come back to the center. Arms out to the sides. Bring your knees together. So we're gonna keep building on that. Rub out the thighs. A little karate jump down the legs. And change sides. So take the left knee bent, right leg is straight. Inhale, inhale, reach the arms out to the sides. Breathe one and two. Don't let that right kneecap get loose or you know release. Stretch that. You can think about the pinky toe of the right foot really rooting into the earth. And then tilt the left arm up to the sky, reverse warrior. My right leg is gonna wanna bend. Just know that you have mastery over your leg in this moment. Very exciting to have some control over something. Exercise your control over your right knee right now. <laughs> Who knows, you might feel excellent about the whole day that way. <laughs> And, well, at least I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> Arms out to the sides, shoulders back. Breathe, take both knees in. And maybe again, you take a little twist to the right and to the left. I said in this morning's class too, twists are like, I think, you know, the coronavirus um, antidote. <laughs> For me, they just kind of reset, unwind anxiety, and unwind anything that I'm holding physically due to myriad choices of what that's about. Okay, so now we're gonna take it again. If you're in your warrior two and you wanna try sitting up in it, you'll pause here in warrior two, a couple of breaths, reverse warrior, and then the right elbow is gonna to come to the right knee. Parj Rokanasana, extended right angle. Notice for yourself if you've wanted to collapse forward, we're trying to stretch the shoulders on top of each other, the hips on top of each other. And guess what? See how easy it was to sit. So stay sitting if that's where you are and you can still take this. In fact, arguably, it makes your left hip open even more because you get a little bit more, um, there's like a little more give in the left side of the body by tilting. And inhale, come on up. Hug the knees in. Exhale, exhale, little karate chop. Mm. And we'll take the second side. You're probably like, wait, didn't we do all that? Inhale, exhale. Bend the left knee, right leg is straight. Reverse warrior. And then left elbow to the left knee. Extended right angle. Again, noticing what you're wanting to release. So keep the pubic bone lifted, the tailbone down, extending the middle. Maybe I go back to the chair, stretch, stretch, stretch the right leg. Keeping the right hip, right shoulder going back. I can raise my arm if I want. Inhale and back to the center. Let's take that right leg and cross it all the way over the left. If you're on the floor, you can just sit up straight and cross the leg over. We're going to take the opposite, um, usually we twist opposite arm to leg. We're going to go opposite to that. <laughs> so same arm and same leg. Right elbow to the right knee. Give yourself a twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, tilt. Hand 
hands to the floor. Breathe. Shaking your head no. Nod your head yes. Ooh, bring both knees into the chest. One, two, three, four, five. Cross the left leg over the right and taking your right arm behind you, either, either behind the chair or just sitting up tall if you're on the floor and you want to just take it behind you on the floor and help yourself be supported. You can do that as well. Crossing the left leg over, turn one, two, three, four, five. Making this number four you could think about. Inhale, keep using the right uh, left foot. Fold in half, one, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, I'm gonna tilt over to the left side. Take the arms out, we'll take some chair sit-ups. Right knee in, right knee straight, right knee down. Left knee in and straight, in and down. In and straight, in and down. In, straight, in and down. Take your little windshield wiper of your body. I'm just thinking like, whoosh, whoosh. okay. <laughs> Take both knees up, toes the same height as the knees if possible. One, shoulders both soft and square. Two, three, four, five. Come on down. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, both knees up. Maybe you straighten them fully. Maybe you keep it bent. Either way, the back stays nice and tall. Tall spine, four, five. We'll call that whole thing number three. We have two more. Inhale, reach up and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Come on down. Stretch, stretch, stretch the legs. Inhale, arms out, breathe, lift up, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a terrible counter. We're gonna call this the last one. Inhale, lift up, nose to the sky, maybe one, two, three, four, five. I think I cheated too, huh? So hug the right knee into the chest, sit up really tall. Rotate the right foot in a little circle. This is a wonderful rehabilitation stretch. You know, I don't know about you, but pretty hard on my feet during the day and I often forget to give them the care and unwinding that they need. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna stretch the legs straight in front of us. Sit up really tall. Hold the knees. Nice tall spine again. I'm gonna try to keep my tailbone rooted to the chair or to the floor. Very hard to do, right? So I'm gonna lift my kneecaps even more, meaning use the thighs, all the musculature above the kneecaps instead of letting that muscle go soft. I'm using it, using it. That's how I'm also not falling off the chair. Keep reaching toward the toes, inhale. Exhale, and inhale, walk your hands back up. Soles of the feet together, exhale, let the knees splay, breathe. Tap the heart and the chest. So we're in this little diamond shape, Baddha Konasana. In case anybody's interested in a Sanskrit lesson, I know you're dying for it. Bada means bound, Kona, angle. And asana, you hear it at the, all these, I used to think it meant posture. Asana just means seat. So whatever your seat is, Bada, bound, angle, seat. So maybe your toes are here, maybe they're a little further out, which is actually much easier. And I'm just gonna try to tilt forward. If your toes don't feel good like that, just kind of splay them. 
keep your tailbone down. If you're sitting on the floor, it's just the same exact thing. We're sitting on the floor, feet are in this angle position, tilting forward. Keep the back nice and straight. Inhale, sit up tall. And now for the second of those versions, we're gonna round the head. So the belly comes all the way into the spine and the head is gonna go to the feet. Now, these are suggestive, suggested spots. If your head doesn't go to your feet, because especially in this chair position of it, it won't. But we're gonna be able to round, round, round and then my head, look, is at my feet. We're playing a game of as if, suggestion game. Right, with so many things in front of us to feel um, more appropriately worked up about, you know, your ability to do Baddha Konasana in full is certainly not one of them, let's hope. Janu Shir Shasana, head to foot pose. Left leg is gonna be straight. These are nice forward bends for the end of the day. But this one specifically is, is like in the therapy language, the physical therapy language of yoga. And I suggest you take it as often during the day as you want. So um, let's see. If you're sitting on the floor, it's much easier. The uh, right knee is bent and the right foot is just glued to the left thigh. Left leg is straight. And why I say it's easier is because this is supported. You don't have to do the work of supporting it. But it's kind of a neat challenge to be sitting in the chair and doing it. So I'm going to keep my hand holding my, left, my right foot so it doesn't slip. Exhale, just tilt to wherever you are you are. In fact, by doing it in the chair, I have to stay very connected to my breath and to my belly, which ultimately is the integrity of this posture, right? We're trying to keep ourselves straight. It's a very subtle movement. I'm not trying to get my nose to my shin here. I'm just leaning forward, trying to stretch out my right hip. Now maybe I keep the um, base the same. I'm just gonna take a little twist. Shoulder to the sky. Exhale. Inhale, bring the knee into the chest. And reach the right leg down. Second side. So bringing this foot up into passe, any ballerinas on the call right now, on the Facebook, Vimeo, whatever we're on, you'll know this is passe, bringing the left foot up. I hope Jerry's with us. Inhale, nice tall spine, exhale, tilt forward. If you have it in you to tilt more, so obviously I can go down further on this side, A, because I knew it was coming, but B, because I tend to, uh, overwork my right hip from dance from all these years, so I have to be really, really inquisitive and cautious. I don't baby it automatically, but I slowly check in, right? So that each moment I'm trying to be as mindful and curious how I'm feeling in that position, that moment. All right, using your hands to help you, we're gonna come to a standing posture and take some balance poses. So I'm gonna come behind my chair here, reach my right foot up in that, Passe position, tree pose. So my hips are square, trying to be square. Let's see if you can see. Meaning the right hip's not up, the left hip's not. Uh -huh. I'm trying to keep both hips the same height, theoretically. Hands to the waist-ish, or at the chair, or one hand at the chair, one hand at the heart. Keep breathing. If something hurts, please stop. If you can't, you know, inhale fully, 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 and exhale fully, 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 might mean you need to sit down and take a sip of water. <laughs> yeah? Might mean this has just gotten too much. Exhale, stand on the right foot. <sighs> take the left foot up and breathe. Pull in the ribs and the belly. Press, see I'm falling too. Press the right big toe. And just notice what's what. Maybe you did the hands off the chair on the right side and on the left side it doesn't work at all. So just be gentle to yourself. Be really mindful. Really curious. That's the word. Just curious. Oh, look at that. That side is really hard. Or oh, that side's really easy. 
Now we're going to stand on the left foot and just try to lift the right leg. In theory, it's the same height as the hip, but let's be clear, it's some random Wednesday in the afternoon on May, in May, and we're in a pandemic. <laughs> lift the leg as far off as it makes sense for you to do today in this moment, right? And if I lift the leg, sometimes it comes to turn that my balance is off. So I'm going to keep my leg down. Exhale, come on down. Come to sitting either on the chair or on the floor or back in your bed. And inhale, exhale. Little body scan. Shuklam Baradaram Vishnu. Shashivarnam Shaturbhujam Prasanna Vadinam Diyaye Sarva Vigna Pashantaye oh. Not that my attention would ever be so wavered by just a sound outside, but I hear meditation beginning <laughs> to be set up. So I'll bid you all uh, namaste, which means, you know, well, the teacher in me honors and sees the teacher in you. And um, thank you so much for practicing. Uh, stay posted, um, stay tuned to a possible change of schedule, going back to just the 9 a.m. classes for next week. And I look forward to seeing you very soon at meditation. Thank you so much. If you've ever have any questions, reach out to me directly or through Temple Manual.